my Okay, I'm doing what? I'm doing orange against blue, right? Yep. What color do you think I'm going to start with? Orange. Yes. Because it's got red in it, then it's more intense. Um, it's more lighter. Yellow. It's lighter. Man. So it'll be easier for me. See how old my yellow is? That's old yellow. Old yellow. How do you know when your yellow starts? Does it change color? No, it's, it gets kind of goopy. It, it gets a sort of goopy. Uh, well, you have to add more water in order for it to solidify. Yeah. So it's kind of goopy and see that? But it feels good. You guys ever pay attention to what it feels like when you're yeah. mixing your paint? Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can feel it if it's right. Yeah. And it's like this feedback that you're getting back from your material. It's actually oh, the oh, case oh, for pretty much any medium, any material that you're going to be working with, you're going to get feedback. In some cases, um, audit, auditory feedback. Some things you can hear. You know, you can hear pencils, you can hear chalk, you can hear pen and ink. And one thing that you know is if you're using a medium, a tool correctly, it will never make an ugly sound. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're making ugly sound with your tool, you're not using it right. Even on the lathe. When I'm rolling coils, like when you roll coils, you can feel it drop down into the right place. It, it, you can, it actually drops in. Right? And it's it goes into a coil and it's cool. It feels really good. Yeah, and these things are so satisfying, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, it, they are, it's there. like satisfying. That's part of the, the beauty of there. making art. It's not just the product, it's the process of doing it. It's the actual doing that's wonderful and that feels good. It literally feels good. It's like I can feel when the paint feels right. Now when you went from red to gray to green, mm. did you use any white? Yeah, yes. now the rest of that could be your fur coat. Okay, now that seems strange to me because red is, has dark, it starts out with a dark value. Yes. And but these two together make something mix, darker. I do not need a fur coat. The green is a lighter value than red. Yes. Just by one, <laughs> one block of it. Right. Down, yeah. So if you're, move, if you're painting something with a lighter value with something with a darker value, it doesn't seem like, like it's going to make it dark, the darker value darker by adding yeah. something to the lighter value which is adding green to like so How do you, how do you shade red? How do you shade red? How do you shade red? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is lightening the shade. I'm really lightening the shade. As I'm, if I'm adding green step by step, I would theoretically be creating a value scale, right? Because the more green I add, the darker it gets. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the value the same while desaturating and then bringing it back towards the other hue rather than going from light to dark. Right? right? Yeah. Makes sense, sort of? You keep it evenly dark. Or yeah, from experience it makes sense because that's what we had to do with the uh, color value scale. Right. But See, I'm already, this is starting to turn into a shade here. See that? As I added some blue. And I'm not opposed to going darker just like I did here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and keep it completely the same value because I don't want to tint my blue in a major way. Right, can we start the other way? Or blue to sure. But you're having that same issue. It's it's harder to lighten the color than it is to darken one. You know, it's 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 easier to add, much easier to add the blue to the orange. 